I was just chilling playing my lovely modded star round when um, mod updated so part of my bird girl's cute brown hair broke and it didn't look very good so I had to fix her. Um, but this also works for changing like your character appearance in general so it may be more useful for other situations. Uh, there's probably tutorials out there like this but I feel like making one so whatever. I know I'm kind of hard to understand talking so there's some steps in the description as well. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to make a new character with the appearance that you'd like the character you're modifying to have. Um, so this is the one I'm going to be modifying as main player, so I'm going to go make new character. Uh, doesn't really matter what they look like. Okay, so this one, and I'm just going to name it change player. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't actually need to start playing it, so once you have it like this, you can just quit the game. Um, and ideally you're going to want to have the one that you just made on top and like the one you're changing underneath just so it's easy to find in the files. So now you're going to go to the player folder which is in like your Steam game, Steam apps, common, starbound, storage, player. And this is the player that I just made and then underneath is the player that like the main player one. So I'm going to copy these um, and I'm going to put them in this folder here. Uh, you should probably back them up if it's like an important file, you should probably make it never copy and put it somewhere else. So I'm putting them in this folder here, and I'm going to rename, um, I'm going to rename them so it's more easy for me. Okay, so I've renamed the, um, the, the one that we're modifying to main player, and the one with like the appearance that we want to hair player. Um, so also an easy way to tell which is which is like if the file size is bigger, that's probably the one that you've been playing on. And you're going to need the paths for these, so I'm just going to save the paths for both of these right now. So on this, I'm just going to save this stuff on a sticky note, I recommend the same. You're also going to need them in quotation marks, so that's kind of convenient. And then you're going to need free blank player files, so you can just make these by like taking the text document and like renaming it to something. So I'm going to do edit.player, um, change it, I'm going to make new hair dot player oops I can't type and then I'm going to make change dot player all right uh, now going back to your starbound folder go back and you want to go in the win32 folder and you want to get the directory for dump version uh, underscore like json.exe and then also the make one um, but like it's like the same thing, so it's pretty easy to just write it down. Oh yeah, and you're also gonna need the directories for all of those ones that you just got, all those blank player files you just made. <laughs> so that's why I'm keeping all of mine in the same folder. All right, cool. So now that we have this all set up, we can actually do the thing. So you're gonna take command prompt. You're gonna have to open it in administrator or else it's not gonna work. So first we're going to like dump these because like right now, actually I'll just show you. Like this is not a format that we can edit. So um, we have to dump them so that we can modify them. So you're gonna get the dump thing followed by the location of like the uh, main player file here and then followed by the location of where you want to like dump it so like one of the empty ones so i'm dumping it into edit.player and then you're going to take this little path you're going to dump it in here hit enter and then now that we see that like edit player has become a file that's good and then we're going to need the same thing but we're going to want to put um like the one the appearance that we're modifying we're going to dump that into another empty player file folder if that makes any sense if, if that didn't make sense you could just read it in the description <laughs> sorry um, so I'm dumping basically this one into this and the same way. Okay, and anyways, now that we have these both dumped, you're going to want to open both of them. Um, so edit that player, new hair that player. Um, I'm opening them with notepad, like notepad plus plus and all stuff also works. So you're going to want to control F in both of them and look for identity. Um, and if you have like crewmates or stuff, uh, be careful because they also have identity information just like players, so you want to make sure that it's like your player name and stuff here. Um, and then we're going to look for that in this one too. 
All right, so this is the one we're changing it to. So you're just going to want to take this whole, whole thing. Uh, make sure you don't like get any extra spaces or anything. Or like at least that you get the same amount of spaces. And we're just going to want to paste it here. Ta-da! And that's it. And we save edit player. Um, and then, oh yeah, and if you don't want your name to change, make sure you like have your name changed back to whatever it would be. Uh, and now we're just going to go back into command prompt, pull out our little like, locations again, um, and we're going to want to take, uh, instead of dump version first, we want to put make version so you can just change it because they're in like, the same location. Uh, and then we're going to want, <laughs> and then we want the location, second is the location of the edit player, and then Third is the location of our last remaining blank file, which if we see here, that would be our change.player. Alright, so we're going to take that, put that in our fun little command prompt again. Yay! Uh, so there's like, there's like an error that you might get if I think, I think it comes from if you had like a vanilla player or like an old one. Or it's like negative, like nan, like parentheses, like ind or something. Uh, so you just want to like replace that with a value if it doesn't work, like a big number. Um, but you might not have that problem. Uh, so, anyways, once we have this, you'll see that our change player is like that really fun format that we can't read at all. Um, which I'm gonna call it. So that's good. Uh, so back in our player folder in Starbound, if you, oh I probably, I'll put a thing up on the screen, but if you copied it out like I did, uh, then like you should still have it remaining there. So we don't need this one anymore, that was just for the appearance, so we can delete that. Um, so we're going to take this number letter jumble thing, so we're renaming our change in there, dump it in there, should be replacing the file, that's good, replace it. Um, like I said, back it up at the start in case this doesn't work. Okay, now that we're in Starbound, you can see that our chain, our um, player is now change player. This character that we had before now has a changed appearance. Yay! Um, thank you all for watching. Hope that worked. If not, feel free to leave a comment in case I like missed something. Uh, have a great day. Bye.